More Heart Than Talent Radio. More Heart Than Talent Radio is brought to you today by my Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle Coaching Program. If you find yourself struggling to find your breakthrough and frustrated with your results, join my Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle Coaching Program. It's a private video coaching call every other week where I'll be teaching the skill of the week followed by coaching. JCIC members one-on-one live for observation. All calls are recorded and posted in the JCIC members area. Members will have access to the private JCIC Facebook group where they can ask questions, interact with me, my Golden Mastermind team, the other JCIC members, and receive any support required in their breakthrough process. When you enroll, you'll receive the new members welcome kit, which includes my new Breakthrough Factor audio program, my Breakthrough Accelerator course, my digital coaching program, and so much more, all for $197. This is no ordinary coaching program. Sign up now to begin your breakthrough process now. Go to goldenmastermind.com forward slash circle to get started today. Jeffrey Combs, take two. More Heart to Talent, Facebook Live. We experienced technical difficulties. I'm here in the Golden Mastermind Seminar corporate office with Mr. Chris Shar, who is my technical genius behind the scenes, assisting me to be able to bring to you live more heart than talent. This call for many years was a 1030 Eastern live call that became a podcast the following day. Now it is a Facebook Live every 4 p.m. Tuesday afternoon. I'll cover a few quick announcements and move into the into the inspirational portion of today's live. On November 10th, I'll be in Spartanburg, South Carolina. This is a rescheduled event from earlier in October. I want to thank Bridget Bartley for hosting the event. This will be a standing room only event in Spartanburg. So looking very, very forward. November 17th, I will be in Orange County, California with Marissa and Doug Campbell, two exceptional business owners who've had the privilege of coaching one-on-one for the last several years. Also, Bridget Bartley has been a first-class friend and client going on seven plus years. So many of you have hosted events with and for me. I see that Frank Pecoraro is on the call. He used to three events for me in Albany, New York. Joe DiBianca has hosted multiple events for me in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So I want to thank all of you who have assisted me to empower myself and many others. I will also be in December. I will be in Saddlebrook, New Jersey with Diane Hunt, who has also hosted It'll be her fourth event this year and one last year, five events, more heart than talent. I will also be in Los Angeles, California with Brittany Cara, and I've rescheduled Terrytown, New York for December 22nd. That was a that was an unfilled date, so I'll be finishing the year in Terrytown, New York, December 22nd, and December 29th, I'll be in Los Angeles, California with Brittany Cara. Now, today's call or to call. See, this is the old school. Today's live is focused on living a balanced life and finding inner peace, inner calm. Now, what does that actually mean? It means consciously that you're able to separate your feelings from events. You're able to move beyond anxiety, fear, and doubt, and you're living in a more relaxed state, a more relaxed body called consciousness. Consciousness means that you are aware, you know, and you trust. So in awareness, trust, and know, there's no separation between you and the outcome. So then you don't try to make sense of situations. You're not living in your analytical, egoic mind, your left brain. You're able to easily and oper- easily and effortlessly live in a place called trust, and that's in a very relaxed body. So as you separate yourself from the events that shape them, you're able to be the mind-body connection to new events that you have clarity in. Is you're able to create clarity, meaning you know, you see, you feel, you understand. And then in that type of understanding, then you don't make sense of situations because you know, because the outcome is already being delivered. You're in process. That process is called synchronicity, where there's no separation between you and the outcome. Now that only comes from one word. 
It's a word that is seldom used in the English language. The most common words that people use to sabotage themselves are need to, like to, want to. Let's give it a shot. There's no real, this word, here it is, C-O-M-M-I-T, C-O-M-M-I-T-M-E-N-T. Commit and commitment. Very seldom are these words spoken in the sentence structure of the English language. So you would be the L-O-F, the law of the few, the L-O-F, the law of the few. So if you're the law of the few, that means that you are 1 20th of 1. So 1 20th of 1 is the law of the few. So this breaks down the 20% rule, the Pareto principle. That means that you're 1 20th of 1%. That's how small the separation is between those who are committed and those who are interested. And if you're watching this content today and you are committed and you know, you're in trust, you're in awareness and you understand, then you're in the game. But if you're standing behind the glass, wondering, wishing, hoping, not understanding, you're in a slump, your, your body's not in accordance or in alignment with where your brain is going or your brain is going one way and your body's going another, but then you're separate from, you're not one with. So for you to be in alignment, the word that many people use is authentic. I'm being authentic. Well, what does it, it mean? What does being authentic? It means it's you. It's like I. When you're I and you, you don't even have to say words like authentic. Authentic is a word that many people like try to, to believe that they're being authentic rather than just being. And when you're being, you're a human being. You're not trying to seduce or convince yourself into being authentic. I mean, when you are you, then there's no separation between who you are. But when you don't know who you are, you'll be emotionally addicted to a set of feelings and you'll recreate the same situation over and over to fulfill the feelings that you are emotionally addicted to. So when you suppress your feelings, that means you don't understand them. You're not aware of them. When you repress them, you know what's right for you, but you don't do it. So I was reading this groundbreaking book today, this morning, about 4.20 p.m., I'm sorry, 4.20 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I was in the Golden Mastermind Gym in my home at 989 Oxford Way, and I was reading this groundbreaking book, Letting Go, The Pathway to Surrender, by the only author I read right now, David Hawkins. Hawkins, unequivocally, is the master of consciousness. Anything you require to understand or know about consciousness, Hawkins has written it. He has lived it. He has breathed it. He is unequivocally the master. I am one of his best students, delivering content, being a sage, walking through life, assisting people to understand cause and effect, why they do what they do, how to separate your feelings from the events, how to let go of the cause that creates the effect so you can change your energy. Your ability to attract is a direct reflection of your energy. Emotions give off a corresponding response. As an emotional being, if you're in fear, anxiety, or doubt, you're transmuting your feelings at cycles and hertz per second at a very low vibration, a very low energy. So if you're in anger, hate, resentment, guilt, shame, abandonment, rejection, overwhelmed feelings, grief, and apathy, then you're transmitting and transmuting telepathically a mixed message from anxiety, fear, and doubt. As you begin to move into a higher vibration, more energy, as you begin to understand, as you're aware, as you trust and you know, your communication style, your language style, the function between your brain and your body starts to line up. People begin to show up differently because your emotions are giving off a different corresponding response than you were transmitting when you're emotionally addicted to a set of feelings. So when you are you and you are free, then you've started to develop an inner peace and inner calm. Now, what most people do in life is they live a very unbalanced, overwhelmed life. So if you live in an overwhelmed state, you're in a state of worry. You're in a state of fear. You're in a state of anxiety. And you're in a state of doubt. If you communicate frequently and your sentence structure is filled with I don't knows and I guess, then you're in a very unbalanced emotional state because you're living in anxiety. And when you worry about outcomes that haven't happened, when you try and control your control and end up out of control, the control you control, then once again, you're in a very overwhelmed state called anxiety, fear, and doubt. And as you begin to elevate your consciousness, as you understand, as you know, as you're able to interpret a situation differently, as you're able to change your emotional reflexes, 
is you're able to respond, not react. There's a big disparity between reacting and responding. In a relaxed body, you'll respond. You'll respond to the stimulus at hand. You won't overwhelm yourself. You'll live in the solution. If you're given in life a challenge or a disadvantage or a situation, you'll move right into the solution. That's the difference between inner peace and inner calm versus an overwhelmed state. Now, as you begin to live freely in your body, is you're in a very relaxed state. You're transmuting energy from a state of being. You're not trying to, to do it. You're not getting people. Now, here's a, here's a, here's a word that a large percent the American populace uses, especially in businesses' practices. They want to go out and do this. They want to get someone. I'm going to get someone in my business. I'm going to get someone to consult. And I'm going to get someone to follow me. I'm going to go out and write content and get followers. Well, you're not a getter. You're, you want to be a mentor, a leader, an influencer, a person of influence and affluence who delivers content, who delivers value. And so people organically follow you because you're interesting. But if you don't believe, if you live in a place called doubt, if you don't believe you're capable of that and you say things like, I'm not sure if I can put myself out there, wherever out there is, out there somewhere out in the stratosphere. It's the unknown. It's the forbidden land. That's where many people are because they're afraid that they're not sure if their friends, their relatives, or someone is going to like them. They get overwhelmed and they're worried about outcomes that haven't happened. When you're in that state of anxiety, you are definitely not living in a relaxed body. Because you begin to establish a set of priorities, meaning what is important to me? What is important to I? As I begin to prioritize so I decide that one day, magically, mythically, I'm going to own a business. It becomes a priority. It's either a priority or it's an interest and a wish. Unfortunately, most people come from the wish mentality. They hope it happens. They're going to give it a shot. They're going to go to a seminar, a rally, a convention. They're going to go to a workshop. They're going to listen to a podcast, a download. These are all can, all can contribute to your bottom line or results. But you, your, your priorities are to create results. Your priority is to create profit. Your priority is to own a business that becomes your livelihood, if that's your priority. But if you're only interested, that priority is nothing more than a hobby. And hobbies don't pay well. Hobbies typically pay you what a hobby is worth, little to nothing. But when you're committed, that's a priority. When you have a cause, meaning, and a purpose to change, a purpose, cause, meaning to to succeed, now your energy changes. Now your emotional state will create a different concordance with your body and your clarity that will attract your reality, people and situations to fulfill your and their purpose. That becomes collaboration. If you're building a leverage business that requires clients, customers, teammates, it's your responsibility as a recruiter to be able to attract your reality, people who will fill the roles and positions that you're seeking. It's going to be your responsibility to be able to find products, services, benefits, and features that people will derive the benefits from. Now, as you become cause-driven, purpose-driven, as your business and your emotions begin to have meaning, then your emotions give off a different corresponding response than when you're in anxiety, fear, and doubt. When you're consciously aware, when you understand, when you know, when you're committed, when you're convicted. I mean, these are words that, that are synonymous with being able to succeed. Now, succeed is going to be based on your own, it's going to be in your own belief. Success is like beauty, it's going to be the eye of the beholder. But let's let's surmise that you want to build a business that will support your livelihood. So your business that you're that you're committed to achieving is going to fulfill your family's desires. So let's say that you're going to have, you're, you're focusing on a $20,000 a month income. Well, you have to prioritize the time to create the outcome. And you do this one day at a time. That's the repetition and experience. That's the inner game of the action. Without action, it's a wish. And unfortunately, many people, they want, they wish, they like, they give it a shot. They hope it works out, but they're not really committed. Committed meanings you have a dedicated space where you focus on developing the skills, the habits, and the mindset of the vocation that you have chosen to empower you and empower your family. But without this commitment, then you're never going to learn the repetition, the experience, the inner game, and the skills required. That's why the habits, the skills, and the mindset are the priorities. The dedicated blocks of time are the priority. 
the devoted time to the action becomes the priority. So at 61 years young, about to turn 62, you will find me at my desk a large percent of the time. I live in a three in a three-story house. Most of my production is done in a, a converted bedroom that is now my office on the wing of my house that is one of the best views of the street. I sit there very frequently, long periods of time, devoting time to, to improving my craft, coaching my clients, creating leads, writing content. These are the priorities of the business. I understand them. I know them. I'm consciously aware what is required. I don't avoid. Now, if you're a chronic avoider, then you will, you will spend a great deal of your time getting ready to get ready, seducing yourself into believing that one day, mythically, magically, you will cross the barrier of success without paying the price. It will not happen. Now, the mindset you require to be able to create balance. Now, let's start, what does balance actually mean? It's not a balancing act. It's not the scales of justice. Balance means that you have, you are able to understand what's important in your life. So that means that there's a, there's a time that you have for production, a time you have for relaxation. And it's going to be like beauty. It's going to be in the eye of the beholder. Now, in the workforce, and that's an interesting term, work Force because oftentimes you're forced to work for someone that you don't really want to work for because you believe you require that little paycheck. Now, in that type of work atmosphere, that work environment, you're led to believe that typically a 40 to a 50 hour work week will be the recipe to success. Now, hypothetically, that may be true, but that work, which is called a job, will pay you what the job is worth. If you own your own business, it's going to be your responsibility to create what the free market will bear by understanding what's required of you to create the income, the interest, the profit, the service, and the value. That will be your responsibility as you as an entrepreneur in free enterprise start to create what the free market will bear, meaning there are no limitations. Now, in that situation, your mindset is focused on results. Your mindset is focused on an outcome that's favorable. Your mindset is focused on service and value, and that's how you'll be compensated. And then you start to prioritize time. Time requires a dedicated block of time, but also a value of the time. The starting point would be $100 an hour, $200 an hour. That's the value of your time. As you begin to devote five hours a day minimum to your craft, to your business, to creating the service and value, at $100 an hour, that's $500 a day. You do that five days a week, it's $2,500. That's $10,000. I mean, you, you do the math on that. That's, that's how you'd create the outcome that you seek. So just factor that. $500 a day times five, 2,500 times four, there's your first $10,000 a month, part-time on a five-hour production day. Now, that should also give you time to be able to devote time to spirituality, exercise. I'm not saying five hours is the recipe. I'm just giving you context so you can take the content, put it into context, and put it into application. Application is what create the result when there's repetition experience factored over time. But if you're not committed and you're not dedicated, then you're just interested. Being and staying. Being and staying conscious is the same quality as being and staying productive. Now, many people say to me, Oh my God, you're a workaholic. You put so much time in your business. You are really, and here's the word that they will say, you are really busy. No, I'm not busy. I'm productive. Production creates an outcome. C production comes from a corresponding response coupled with the outcome that you seek to create, which come together that creates the centrifugal energy called power. Now, when you're productive, you're in power. When you're busy, you're typically forcing situations. When you're busy, you're typically creating dust. When you're productive, you're blazing the trail. You're walking in the same blade of grass over and over so the path is created. So the path is a path that you can follow. In the forest, it's called the game trail. The deer hunters and the, the trailblazers going back into the 16 and 1700s when they come to America, they start to follow the game trails because the animals in in, in the universe creates, create through their own intuition, 
They know where to go. They know the stars. They know the moon. They know the seasons of change. They create game trails. No one teaches them this. This becomes innate. This is called the hundredth monkey theory. So when the pioneers come into the universe, the new world, that's what they do. They follow the game trail. That's the path of least resistance. That's the path through the forest. That's the path through the mountains. That's the path that's walked over and over and over. So the grass becomes matted and it creates the trail, the dust. As you begin to follow this trail and this path, the path of least resistance, now you're elevating your emotional state, moving into a higher level of consciousness. That consciousness is now called awareness. That consciousness is called knowing. That consciousness is called understanding. And when you live in this state of awareness, you're not trying to make sense of it. Does that make sense? Is that sensible? Does that make sense? This isn't about sense. It's about understanding and knowing. When you know, when you know, when you absolutely know, then you don't focus on what didn't happen. I mean, case in point, I've had eight back-to-back -back coaching calls, prospecting calls, where no one bought recently. I didn't go, oh my God, I'm in a slump. I'm actually not in a slump. No one bought. I mean, I'm able to separate the no one bought from a slump. And that doesn't mean no one's buying. That means that's part of the law of averages. I know and I understand that if I keep being who I am and I keep improving on my craft and I keep honing my skills and I keep listening, and I keep hearing, and it's not luck, it's repetition and experience that creates the skill. So as you begin to become skilled, that creates the inner peace. And it's that inner peace that allows you not to worry. I'm not worried that no one's buying from me. I'm not worried that there's something going on in the world or the market. I'm not looking outside of self. I'm in self understanding the law of averages that closers close sales. And closers closing sometimes comes in droves. Sometimes it comes sporadically. But it's consistently when you're consistent emotionally and consistent in the action phase of your enterprise. Being systemized and being organized means you're no longer winging it. It means you have a process. You have an understanding. You have an awareness of who to be and what to do. It's be doing results. It's the be and do together that come together that create the I am one with. It's in that emotional state that you begin to relax into your body and then the, then the emotions that you transmute are emotions of relaxation. You're very relaxed in the process. You want to be as skilled at relaxing in business as you are at relaxing at relaxing. But if you can't relax because you're worried about what didn't happen, then your relaxation is non-productive. You require a re relaxation where you're relaxed and separate from while still being one with, meaning that you're separate from what you were doing over here. You can let it go so you can be present here. But if you're here worried about what didn't happen here, then you're not in any inner peace or any inner calm. You're worried about outcomes that didn't happen and worried about how it comes that haven't happened. And as you're able to separate your feelings from the past, which is regret and worry about the future, now you become you and you are free. That's what creates calm. That's what creates inner peace. So as you begin to schedule your time, that's part of being systemized, organized, detailed, methodical, and systematic. As you start to schedule your time. So your relaxation time should be scheduled. It's not just winging it. Whenever I'll get around to it, or in your production time requires you to also understand that being productive is a habit. And being productive also requires dedicated blocks of time to honing the skills, the craft, and the emotional state to be and stay consciously aware, i.e. consciousness. When you learn to adapt and adjust, that means you're flexible. That means your flexibility. You're not trying to control the outcome. It means you lean into it rather than lean back against it. It means rather than getting angry is that you find your passion. Rather than being anxious is you move into consciousness. Rather than being in doubt, you move into belief. It's a different flexibility. It's a different reflex. It's in a very relaxed body that you're able to create this type of emotional state. It doesn't come from being in fight or flight. It doesn't come from force. It doesn't come from trying. It comes from being. And it's that state of being that allows you to elevate your emotional state of consciousness, which changes who and what you sh who shows up, who and what you attract, because it's understanding cause and effect and why you do what you do, 
that will allow you to separate your feelings from the event. So you don't recreate the same situation over and over, recreating the same outcome. As you begin to understand the content that I'm delivering for you here today, then you'll be able to raise your emotional state, raise your vibration, raise your consciousness, raise your awareness. And when you know, when you know, you're certain. That's what a belief is. Sense of certainty. And when you transmute feelings from that state, you have a higher law of average of people availing themselves, being more collaborative, being more open, being more receptive because they feel your calmness. They feel your inner peace. But when you're frantic, frantic, overwhelmed, anxious, in doubt, they also feel your disbelief. So when you release guilt, now many of us have been guilted into submission by a grown-up. As you begin to release guilt and you begin to let go, then you will no longer be the mind-body connection to the events that shaped your feelings. If you have challenges receiving, asking, deserving, you don't want to get in trouble, make a mistake, offend someone, that's going to be direct reflections of the events that created the guilt around you being able to ask for what you deserve to receive. Guilt is a very disempowering emotion that transmutes a very low level of energy. As you begin to let go of guilt about asking, deserving, receiving, being your best, worried about how other people are going to perceive you, now you're in power. But when you try and control your guilt, stay in guilt, now you're in anxiety, fear, and doubt. So for you to really live the good life, it requires you to be clear on what that would mean to you. When you have meaning, purpose, and are cause-driven, your energy is in more accordance with your clarity. People will say to me, you're direct. I go, I'm clear. I'm not direct. I'm very clear. So I ask very clearly to find questions about outcomes I seek to create. Now, a little thank I want to thank you very much. Now, this, this call is recorded, available on playback and available on, on Podomatic and one of our other, you can find it on the website. It's available every following day on Wednesday at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And it's also available at noon Eastern Standard Time the following day. So all the Facebook Lives are recorded and available for download and playback on, on Podomatic and other areas where you can find on our website. I also have a new program out called the Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle Coaching Mastermind Product. Now, that is I host that every other Wednesday twice a month. It's a live coaching call. For members of that group. You can find more out more about that on our website and some of the emails that the Golden Mastermind team is delivering. And some of the products that we have created for that. So this is our this is the Golden Mastermind pizza box that we ship our products in. And some of the products that we deliver as part of that course is more heart than talent is part of that course. The anger factor is part of that course. And then we have the seven steps to seven figures inner circle workbook. This is a really cool workbook. And I have the anger factor workbook. I want to thank the Golden Mastermind team who really went to the emotional wall to create these groundbreaking products. And we're very proud of this book, The Breakthrough Factor. This is all part of the products, services, benefits, and features that come with the Jeffrey Combs inner circle live coaching product that I host every other Wednesday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's a very, very inspiring product that my team has put together with me for those of you who want to be part of the inner circle of that of that group. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and thank you very much. I look forward to being back out in the public specter on November 10th with Bridget Bartley in Spartanburg, South Carolina, November 17th in Orange County, California. December 1st in Saddlebrook, New Jersey. December 15th, December 22nd, I'll be in Terrytown, New York. And December 29th, I will be my last event of 2018, Los Angeles, California. You have a great afternoon. Thank you for listening to the More Heart Than Talent radio. If you enjoyed today's content and would like more insight and education to the breakthrough process, you can get my new Breakthrough Factor audio training for free today. It's seven hours of breakthrough content to assist you to break through in life and business. This training is currently for sale on my website 
for $497, but I'm giving it to you for free as a bonus to persuade you to try my new coaching program called the Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle. It's my proven system to teach everyday people and entrepreneurs how to break through to success. When you join the Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle, you will participate in two private video coaching calls per month that you and my other members receive access to. On each call, the first half, I'll be teaching the skill of the week and giving you an assignment related to the topic. You will have the opportunity to post your homework in my private JCIC Facebook group. The Facebook group is a place where you can interact with me, my Golden Mastermind team, and other JCIC members. On the second half of the coaching call, I'll be coaching JCIC members one-on-one -on -one live for you to observe. As a member, you can register for your own live one-on-one -on -one coaching session during this call. They're all recorded and posted in the JCIC members area for you to review while you are an active member. You will also receive a new member's welcome kit in my new Breakthrough Factor audio program absolutely free for joining. You can sign up today for just $197. This is no ordinary coaching program. Sign up now to begin your breakthrough process now. Go to goldenmastermind.com forward slash circle to get started today. Thank you.